name is Dr. Edwin Najoko, Ed, and he has offices here in Hartford, as well as Windsor, as well as East Hartford. And the investigation is going in in all of those towns right now after East Hartford police arrested him for allegedly sexually assaulting one of his patients inside the exam room. And we talked to some of the patients who are coming up to the door today, going to make appointments. And literally, we had to show them the mugshot to get them to believe it because they said, that's not the doctor they know. No, that's him. That's him? He, he was arrested for sexual assault on a patient. Today. Today. He's in prison right now. Cindy saw the mugshot, but still doesn't believe the allegations of patient rape. She says she's been a patient of Dr. Edwin Najoko for seven to eight years. She goes to the doctor's office to find out if it's true and sees a note on the door saying it's closed. She called and was told that they're not making appointments right now. I'm shocked. How has he treated you as a patient? Excellent, with dignity and respect, honest. She is not alone. What did he do? I want to hear it from you. The sexual assault. Police have arrested him on first degree sexual assault. I'm confused. This is a man that I know and I respect. Jermaine works next door to the doctor's office and sees him almost daily. She says it's hard reconciling the man she knows with his mugshot. I don't believe he's rape anybody. This is a setup. It doesn't sound like him. No. Police say they have a victim and evidence in the form of a rape kit. A woman came forward saying that Njoko sexually assaulted her in an exam room. After the news broke, police say, quote, calls came pouring in from people who report having criminal information concerning Dr. Njoko. We did, did learn that there had been other allegations involving him in the past in other jurisdictions which were very consistent with ours. Uh, based on, on the, the act that we, we believe occurred in, here in East Hartford, we're absolutely certain that there have been other incidences. He has offices in Windsor, Hartford, and lives here in East Hartford. No one was at home at his house. The doctor is still locked up on a $825,000 bond. Police say the investigation is expanding. We're very certain that there have been other incidents, and we're hoping that citizens, uh, uh, potential victims, um, well, we'll come forward and report to either us if it's our jurisdiction or the town they live in or where, where it occurred. Now, I did talk to one of the workers who was in the office in East Hartford, and she told me they didn't want to go on camera. They're very upset. It's an emotional day. There's a lot of confusion, and maybe they'll release a statement sometime when their head's clear and they can kind of figure all of this out. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.